All right, guys, one at a time. Come on, one at a time. Give me some space, guys. Listen, autographs are after the show. Just give me 30 minutes. Come on, guys, little space here. Hey, did someone just take my wallet? Hey guys, Tango here again. Welcome back. Here we go. We've got the World Download Contest in full effect right now, in the middle of it. Eh, getting toward the tail end, depending on when I put this video out. But it has been going great. I've been so happy with how it turned out. I'm happy with the format I chose, and those of you that have completed it or even taken part in it have had nothing but really great things to say. Uh, so far, there's been, like, I want to say almost 250 probably like 200, maybe 250 uh, people that have actually finished it and posted a, or like my high-tech zombie defense system, also known as a dirt wall. <laughs> yeah, as you guys might have seen in the intro there, the zombies just collect right up there for some reason. Something to do with pathing into villagers. Yeah, you can hear them up there. But the contest is going great. Some of the questions are fairly easy. You know, quite honestly, a lot of them are, are, are pretty easy. But there are some that are hard, you know, it, it wouldn't be a, a good contest if, if there weren't some that were stumping people up, but some of them for some reason people are just having the hardest time finding, I don't know, I don't know why, but they really aren't that hard, you should just look around I guess, I don't know. But those that are finishing, like I said, are really pleased with it, and uh, I am too, so, but I won't go into the details on that, we're gonna talk more about that in a little bit, but we're gonna get started here, and today we got a project, as we always do here. And as you might have guessed, I hinted a couple episodes when I did the potion room here that we're going to build a nether wart farm because we need it. <laughs> if you check this out here, you see, what is that, 81? Yeah, that's that's the extent of our nether warts. And I want to start churning out potions for like stupid, silly reasons, you know, totally excessive. So we're going to build it up above here and kind of back a little bit. Originally, I was, and I don't remember if I even hinted at this when I did the potion room here, I was originally going to like leave this all open so you can kind of look up, and the idea I wanted was to have like, you'd be able to sit here and see the rows and rows of nether wart like stacked on top of each other, uh, you know, almost like the inside of a skyscraper looking up, but, you know, I kind of played with a design like that in my creative world for a night, and I didn't come up with anything that I really liked, mostly because I couldn't, I couldn't automate it and also make it easy to replant, so... Trash that idea and came up with another one that I like even better, but it will be closed. So this is going to be a closed ceiling here, which I'll redo. But in the meantime, though, I need to do lots of digging up there and in the back and over there and some over there and all around. So here we go. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please hold while I go smash something. Oh, okay. Um, we're back. And, uh, yeah, we're... We're not exactly happy with what has transpired here. But I picked everything up. And, uh... Okay, now, um... <laughs> We're a little, a little on the upset side. Uh huh. Yeah. Mm hmm. Gonna have to do some rebuilding here. That is the first time that's ever happened. I honestly have no idea where that creeper came from. He came in from over here somewhere. Apparently, I have one square somewhere that's not spawn proof. So I'm gonna have to give a very thorough pass. <clears throat> yeah, uh-huh, yep. Okay, got some rebuilding to do. I don't think I lost too much. It was basically my wood chest, my wood uh, wood chest, my wood supply chest, 
redstone chests, redstone devices, and all my enchanting books. Plenty of redstone, I'm not worried about that anyways. I'm not seeing, I thought I had a lot of redstone, like pistons and stuff like that. Not really seeing those right now. I don't even know how much can be destroyed if a chest... Can items be destroyed if the chest blows up? Or do they just all get thrown on the ground? I'm not sure. Anyway, alright. Time to rebuild. <sighs> Meh, I decided to clean that mess up later. I'd rather be productive in here. Yep, <sighs> creepers can have their moment of glory. They got me. They got me good. I'll give it to them. One for the creepers. Uh, we may have some certain uh, punishment for the creeper race coming up in a near episode. We'll see. Definitely not happy with them right now. Okay, uh, so as you can see, here is the hole dug out to the appropriate size for the type of thing I'm going to be building. And I kind of stubbed in a little bit of soul stand here just to give you guys an idea of the idea of what's going to happen. So... It's going to be a fairly, or one of the goals I had when I started this was I wanted it to be really compact and vertically. So, and I got that. I think what I'm going to have is a uh, nether wart farm that's, you know, each row or each uh, horizontal slice is uh, two blocks stacked on top of each other. And we're going to go with four, four levels right now, four stacks. Um, you see where I have this eight by eight soul stand that's going to be filled in. This one here is going to be filled in on top of it, and then that dirt block will be another one, and then that up there will be the final one. And then I'm going to mirror the whole thing over here. So each uh, row, I guess, level, I'll call it level, each level is going to be two 8x8 eight eight platforms, and then another 8x8, eight eight, bleh, easy for me to say, another 8x8 eight eight here, 8x8 eight eight there, and so on. So we'll have, what, eight... 8x8 eight eight platforms of netherwort. So quite a bit. It'll be a decent sized farm here, all compacted in here. It should be really easy to plant, which was another goal of mine. Obviously, there's no way around. You have to you gotta plant the netherwort. So I wanted that to be easy easy as possible. And then finally, down in the uh, potion room down there, I'm gonna have a button that's like one push to harvest the whole thing with uh, with some water. Now, I said the word water. You guys see what I'm looking at here. <laughs> we're looking at a potential second catastrophe this episode so instead of rolling the dice on that one I am not going to have water spill down inside all that crazy redstone down there which you guys have seen so I think what I'm going to do is finish out these platforms with soul sand and then probably just cover all that up below it back up with dirt I should have just left it I wasn't thinking there's really no reason to expose that so I'm going to go ahead and take care of that so that there's no possible way that water is getting down there. Because it is a little risky what I'm doing here. Uh, Alright, let me do that. Alright, we made a little bit of progress here. Enough before I can explain some more. I made a little staircase here. This is, this. is There will be a real staircase here, but it'll look roughly like this, but I'll make it look a little bit better. But anyways, you can see I got my four uh, levels of soul sand. The bottom two are solid like this. The top two I just stopped just in case. I have this fear that I'm going to have to move it. But from over here you can generally get an idea what it's going to look like. So let's see. The idea now is all about trap doors. So trap doors are going to be along each of the bottoms of the soul sand like this. And now trapdoors, this is kind of the really cool part that had me a little excited. Trapdoors are the only way that you can stand and walk in a two block gap and also walk above it, if you know what I'm saying. So I can walk down through here, of course, no problem, but I could also walk up there. And when I put more uh, trapdoors up there, two block gap stackable that I can walk into, which is what makes this two block high system possible without without these trap doors this wouldn't be possible because you wouldn't be able to get in there to to walk around and to replant now the idea is so that's one one of the little tricks now the other one is that or the i guess it's not really a trick but the idea that as i'm planting you know suppose i had another word in my hand right here once you're on top of these trap doors, that little extra height there makes it so that you can comfortably reach in four blocks. So this being first, second, third, and then fourth block. 
So the way you plant is going to pretty much point at the fourth block out there and just hold down the button and walk across. And when you get to the end, pull in a little bit, go to the third, go down, second, down, and then first and down. And you're going to do this down both strips. So it's going to be 16 planted, 16 back, 16, 16. So you're going to plant 64 from this side. And you're going to start up at the top. So you'll do basically the, the four passes, you know, fourth row, third row, second row, first row, all the way up at the top. And you'll start down here and you'll also end down here. And when you end, what you need to do is you're basically just going to look down, press the little button, boop, and then fall down to the next level and repeat the process. So you'll be able to do all four rows super fast. Right, let me see, uh, hoppers. Yeah, so right here is where there's going to be a whole ton of, uh, that one's not going to be like that, obviously, but this is where they're, the water stream is going to push. They're going to, water streams are going to end right here. So these hoppers are going to suck up the nether warts, um, and they're going to fall down, obviously, from all four heights. So they're all going to go right in there. So it's a low hopper design, too, which is nice. Uh, I am going to have, I think, dispensers back here, which is, this is the part that's not cheap. I was debating between having dispensers, you know, eight dispensers with water buckets versus just having, you know, water source uh, blocks back here that are held back by pistons. And, and I may still do that. That part I haven't really designed yet, but that's just the part for how the water is going to be released in. Um, but anyway, the one thing I don't really have kind of solved yet is, you know, as I mentioned over here, you're going to do your, you know, back and forth, back and forth a whole bunch of times. And when you're done, you're basically going to be looking at only half of the farm planted. So you're going to have to either, you know, uh, I can't really get over there right now, but throw an ender pearl over here or something to repeat the process on the other side. And you're also going to have to get back up on top. So I've got to think of a clever way to get from basically down there to up there. So I may have a little staircase that kind of runs up here or something to be determined. Um, but the next thing I think I want to do, oh, the other thing I should mention is there's going to be a room right here. This is, I'm going to clear out more of this nonsense here, give a little room to breathe. Uh, as you can see, oh, well, you might be able to see right here. This is where I was having a kind of planned area to fill water bottles. So I'm going to kind of incorporate that into this upper room here too. Probably put it like right around here or something. So you'll be able to mass fill water bottles right here, which I'll explain later, as well as farm the nether wart, which will automatically populate into the appropriate, uh, what is it down there? Hello, droppers, yes. Uh, so all right, let me make a little bit more progress here. I'm gonna get all these trap doors in here and maybe put some surrounding walls and just start to polish it up a little bit. So I think I'm gonna actually go with some nether brick here. I've always been a huge fan of the way nether brick looks just because it's like this dark. You guys know I like stone, but just the color of this I like. It is a little bit dark though, but it's always kind of secretly been one of my favorite blocks to build with. But I think that's what I'm going to do in here. Given that it's nether, nether wart, I figure, you know, carrying the, the nether brick in here would actually be kind of pretty sweet looking. So I'm going to go with something like this, I think. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to move that one over to like there. So, but the, you know, kind of set back glowstone with the fence in front of it. I kind of like that. I might use that for my lighting all up and down the sides here, just so you can see down here. Um, again, this is right here is going to be the full line of dispensers with water buckets. I think they're going to spit out the water. So water is going to flow down across here. And this right here will be the last block with water in it. And so it's going to obviously harvest all of the uh, nether warts and put them into these hoppers here. And same over here, dispensers here. It's going to flow down and repeat the pattern up. But yeah, I think I'm going to do that with the with the light for the lighting situation. Now, the thing I was kind of the dilemma I had or the, the, the decision I have to make is I was originally going to do something like this, which looks god awful hideous, but... The purpose of it was when the water flows out to keep it up there and not have it fall down in here. But, you know, here I am thinking about that. And, well, is that even really a problem, right? Because the water can't go down here because of the, the trap doors. But, you know, if the water source hits here first, it will flow kind of where my head is. 
and flow down here a little bit, but who cares, right? I mean, am I missing something? I don't, I think it's okay if the water flows down there. And honestly, it looked a lot better like that than it would be to have signs spammed all the way down. So I think I'm just going to say kind of screw it and let the water flow. Let it flow. All right, so then down here, I think, yeah, I think I'm going to pop these guys out. And, oh, I wonder if, uh, hang on a second. I wonder if glowstone will look good. It'll definitely add more lighting down here. Oh, but it, uh, yeah, I can't, I can only do that down here because obviously up there I won't be able to do that. So I'm going to have to put lighting in the sides anyway, so probably never mind. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go with, uh, yeah, nether brick down there too. Just, uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm wondering if there's a better brick, add a little bit more variation down there. Tentatively for now, it's going to be nether brick. So, all right, I'm going to line all the interiors up with that style there, I think. Now, I changed this up a little bit here. So you come up here, and I want it to be three wide coming up, and three wide as you take the turn to come up here. So you're going to... Kind of come up something like this. I'll probably push this back a little bit. Maybe put a little decoration there. This chest right here is the tentative spot. So what I'm going to do is when this harvests, it's going to obviously, you know, a ton of nether going to start flowing through these hoppers. And what I want to do is give priority to this chest here. So I'm going to fill this up first. And this is going to be my supply chest that I use to replant. So every time I come up here, I know that I'll have a full single chest, which should be enough to, to plant this whole farm. And only when that's full will the hoppers then carry the uh, the nether warts down over to here, which is where I need to work on right now. So there was a little problem here, if you think about it, if you guys are familiar with how this works now, the, the potion, I guess I should take my glowstone back here, <laughs> even though I have like three double chests of it now. Um, if you guys remember how the potion room works. The ingredients kind of flow down this hopper chain here, come in here, there, there, and then straight down into the uh, brewing stand. But that uh, dropper right there is where my, if I can tag it, there we go, is where my nether wart is. So I need to get a hopper from like up here somewhere down and hook it in there without disrupting any of the other things. So the thing I think I'm going to do here now, and this is I think it'll work. If I pop off that and that, did I lose them? Yeah, they're gone forever. Oh well, I'll have to replace them. And, oh wait, there's one. Ah, oh, my inventory is full. Come on, you're killing me. <laughs> oh, so I throw the dust away. Uh, yeah, I think the other one went in. There it is, yep. <laughs> I gotta clean this whole system out, all the, all the rocks I've been dropping here. So, what I wanna do here is take this guy out, I think. And this guy. And then change it so that, let's see. Put that guy into the side of him there. Hop around here. Sorry for all the jumping. Pop this guy out. And he is going to, let's see, so tight back here. Let's see if I can just do it this way. He's going to go there. All right, so now, repeaters, give them to me there and there and everybody's all happy i think i don't think i broke anything basically this block right there is never powered otherwise it would jam up that hopper there so i think we're still good so what i've done now is routed the ingredients down and around here and now i can just go pop because there's nothing on top of here so no harm there and let's see do i want to i think it's going to come right down here yeah, so we'll go like that. Yeah, and one more. And you guys get the idea as I fall. Ugh, stuck. Can I get up there? All right, so that one's going to go there. No, just one. Can't jump, can't do anything. And there. All right, so I think that'll do it, right? Boom, boom, boom. Down, down, and in. All right, so I just need to get my nether wart to go into that hopper there, and we're all set. All right, got another update for you guys. I finished off the nether brick, all four levels, both sides. The soul sand is finally filled in because I'm not moving it. <laughs> 
And yeah, it's pretty decent. I like the uh, I like the way it looks in there. I like the the lights going down, like I talked about. Up top, I have some. <laughs> you can't really see, obviously. Um, maybe you can see a little bit. And now, up top, I got some lights in the air, some glowstone in the ceiling too. Um, but I know this is super tight here, but it'll make sense more when I actually have this working and we use it. I got the over here. I got the red, the not the redstone, the uh, Another wart going into the hoppers, and the way I did that, so we got this chest here. The nether wart comes down the hopper chain, kicks over to one behind, and then comes into this one, goes there, and then down, which is where you just saw before. Uh, but there's this guy here, which, you know, most of you guys probably know this. I just want to make sure you know. The the way the hoppers work is they always take, the, the vertical transfer always takes priority over lateral pushing or lateral transfer. So when an item enters this hopper here, this item below will always pull it down first before it gets pushed over, which will then automatically fill this chest up and give me that goal I want where this chest will always fill up first and not until that hopper is totally full will items start going over and then going into the system. So kind of nice, kind of handy to get that for somewhat free. Um, I want this to be the floor right here just because it feels like a nice height. I like the little glass I added here so you can kind of peek in and kind of see is not the right time to harvest just to see the nether work growing but I got the chest down here and that's pretty much got to be at that height so what I may do is just make it like a floor recessed chest there I'm not sure yet um, but the next step is to get the dispensers in and start working on the redstone to hook up the timing system you know, every once in a while, I find that I overcomplicate my designs, believe it or not, I know. And I think this is one of the times where I'm doing that. So my original plan was I was going to have a button somewhere in this area here, I'm not sure yet. But a single press was going to spit the water out of all the dispensers, and it was going to flow toward the center here, just like I said. And then a few seconds later, uh, like 10 seconds or whatever it is, it was automatically going to send another signal to have the dispenser suck up the water again and turn all the water off. And I actually spent some time working on that. And I had this little little circuitry here set up to basically have a configurable pulse lengthener and all this stuff. And it was kind of working. But I just took a step back and I said, why am I doing this? This is pointless. I'm doing all this work just to avoid me having to press a button twice instead of once. You know, I don't know. Some of you guys might say, like, well, that's the cool factor of having something that's just completely automated. But... I'm going to just keep it simple here. I'm going to have a button here that hooks up to all the dispensers. I'm going to press it. Water's going to come out, and I'm going to watch it, or when I feel like, you know, all the another wart is harvested into the hoppers, and then I'm going to actually press the button again. You know, I can live with that. So, anyway, what I got is all the dispensers are in. It is so hard to work back here. <laughs> Trying to get those dispensers to face in. I had to, like, take out all the sandstone. Just such a pain. Um, and then I have this, uh, let's see if I can show you, see the line of redstone behind them all. So that's pretty much the same behind all, all the rows there with the torch there. And then I got a little torch, alternating torch tower going up. So basically if I power this block here, that's a redstone torch right there too. If I power this block here, all these torches will, uh, you know, basically flip their signal. And all the ones on the inside here will turn on and signal all the uh, dispensers. So pretty simple, pretty pretty convenient. So all I got to do now is send power to this block there. And over here, I just need to send power to this right here. And it's pretty much the same same setup. This power here will uh, trigger this, this uh, alternating torch chain here too. Um, yeah, so I'm not sure where I'm going to put the button. It's going to be probably in this area, but I may have to wire over top or something, but we'll get there. The other thing I want to do, though, is I had mentioned earlier in the episode, I think I wanted to get a water bottle filler upper station here. And that's what that is right there. My water bottles go right there. So I can actually do this now and build it up a little bit. I can do something like that and then yeah this one should probably just go right yeah right there then something oh lag always does that there there ah stop at the double 
All right, so something like that, and I got to keep the water in there, though. How am I going to do that? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not sure. I'll have to figure that out. But the idea is you'll just stand here and press on the water, and then as you fill up, it will automatically drop the, uh, the water bottles into that hopper there, which will go into the water bottle system. So we got that. I, I moved the stairs a little bit. I, mean, I still obviously got to play with them with some more, push this back some more. But I think the next step is going to be the finishing touches and see if this thing works. Well, it is now the next night and I'm finally done with this thing. It took a lot longer than I expected. You know, you figure just a simple nether wart farm, but the details get you every time. It took me forever. Hello, let me in. Thank you. All right, let me show you what I got here. I got a little access door here for uh, maintenance on the potion room. Went a little bit crazy with the nether brick. I know a lot of you guys will probably hate it, but I I like nether brick. I don't think this looks good. I know, I know, you know, enough to know that it, it needs another color or another tone in here or something, but I tried different, you know, shades of the clay blocks and stuff. I just really couldn't find anything, and I didn't want to spend more time on it, but I got a little little patch of nether wart here, purely for decoration. I'll never actually harvest this here, but figured it kind of like sets the theme as you're coming in here, lets you know you're entering the nether wart area. And then as you can see, I went with some uh, lava uh, decoration behind iron bars. I always kind of like that effect that it gives off and it's plus it's a good, good lighting. And then up here we got our room, uh, pretty close to what you saw, it's just finished off now. I got nether wart here with some glowstone behind it. I think that looks pretty good. As far as functionality now, we got our water filler up on the bob here that I was talking about and uh, added a chest here. I brought over a whole ton of uh, glass bottles from the uh, witch farm. So yeah, when you want to fill it up, you pretty much just come over here and hold the button down and real quick your inventory will fill up and it'll just start chucking them in the hopper here and they'll get sucked up and uh, yeah, pretty straightforward and then just uh, can't stand this close. And then you just got to like control Q these guys here, chuck them in. I don't know if that one will go or not. But anyway, that's the button there to turn the water on and off. And it causes a pretty pretty good amount of lag with all the uh, dispensers. There's what, 8 times 4, 64, 64 dispensers are firing. This here is the chest, the output chest. So as I mentioned before, when the... When the farm is harvested, this will get filled up first as top priority before any actually go into the storage uh, for the potion system. Uh, mostly, like I said, just so that every time I come up here, I know I have some to replant the whole farm. Now, this is when you want to actually use this, you got the ladder to go up. That's where you're going to start to plant, and then this is going to be your exit where you come out. So let me run you through the process here. I had to make a sacrifice that really annoyed me, and that's what it is right there. Yeah, some of you guys probably knew this already or, or caught on. If I don't have these, uh, if I don't block the water from going here, then the water that comes out of here will still flow that way, but the current will kind of want to go over here. And any nether wart I plant in this outer row just kind of goes, bloop, falls right off, and we'll just sit there and rot. So it was enough of a loss where I had to do something about it, even though I don't really like the way it looks as much, but... You know, I went with trapdoors instead of signs because, you know, we're kind of already trapdoor themed here, so it seems like it kind of fits, but who knows. So I've already run through a couple of good sized batches, and I like the way, I really like the way you plant. So you pretty much just get your stack here and hold the button down and just hold lift. Run straight across, like I said, switch. I missed one there, but once you get the hang of it, you generally won't miss too many. And just keep alternating rows like this. And basically you do four rows on this side. And then when you're done here, you pretty much just press this little button here, fall down, and repeat the process right below. And have some more other work. The good thing is it'll take exactly 64 to do each side here. So that's kind of cool. You're going to have to take, I don't know, I haven't actually figured it out, but you're going to have to take a considerable amount of nether work with you if you want to uh, fill up this whole farm. So... Did I get, yeah, I got stuck on the trap door there. Little things like that, but once I get used to this, this will, this will work really good, I think. So, uh, I do want to mention, though, while I'm planting some of this, though, about the contest. I know you guys are itching for me to pick a winner, and that is coming tomorrow night for certain. Don't worry about it. It is the next thing I will do. I just wanted to get this video done, and I've been working on this video for far too long. <laughs> 
So get this one out, and then yeah, tomorrow night I will. Hello, must have forgot to flip those up. Tomorrow night I will be picking a winner. Now I'm not going to announce the winner because what I'm going to do is pick the winner, contact that person, figure out what the video is. So you're not going to hear who the winner is unless you are the winner. You won't hear who the winner is until the next video comes out where I'm doing something with that person. So you'll have to wait, but I will be contacting the winner probably tomorrow, worst case, the next day. Um, oh, what else was I going to say? Oh, yeah, I had to move these hoppers down one. They, if you remember, they were flush with, with this, but because I think it's because the sole stand is actually a little bit shorter than a block. Some of them were getting stuck right on the edge and interestingly enough, not going into the hoppers. So now they all just bloop, fall right off and it works fine. So the process for harvesting the other side, so I would continue like I did, right? And I'd, I'd get down to here and have this whole half of the farm uh, harvested. And I, I actually toyed a lot with like putting staircases in the back and stuff to get over there. And it was just, it was getting too clunky. So I figured this is, I'll just depend on ender pearls and just do this <laughs> much easier. And then from here, I'll start, you know, back and forth, back and forth. You come over here, press the button, back and forth, back and forth. Probably take like five minutes to fill the whole thing. But, and I will once I get enough nether wart. And then once you get down here, you fill this one, you're on the bottom row. And from here, you just throw it back over there and you're done. Come out and there you go. And your whole farm would be loaded up and ready to go. And then when you're ready now, I'll, I'm not going to actually wait, but I'll show you how it works. Press the button here. Uh. <laughs> Frame rate went down to eight there for a second. So yeah, you can see I did not put signs or rather trap doors here. So this is kind of, you're not intended to come in here when it's, uh, what do you call it, while it's harvesting. But I didn't, I really didn't want to cover up that glass. You know, so that was my choice. If I put the trap doors there, it was going to cover up the glass and defeat the whole point of this. And I really like being able to look in there and just kind of gauge, okay, are they all at, you know, the, whatever it is, the max tier three or four, whatever it is, the tallest, in other words. So there will be a little bit of loss. The ones I I, I uh, plant here, some of them will fall off the edge. But to compensate for that, I put hoppers all along down there. So let me turn the system off now. Down to eight frames a second again. Five. <laughs> all right. Now I should. Yep. You can see the hoppers filling up here. So that's pretty much just what I planted. There obviously wasn't too much growth there. Um, but yeah, under here, I solved the over you know the issue with the water flowing over by putting hoppers here so if they do fall over they'll still just go into the hopper chain and go right down so i actually won't lose any so yeah i think that's pretty much it guys I'm, I'm pretty pleased with how this came out i know it's probably not the most effective but again i always you know i always favor my own designs rather than looking up because i'm sure there's probably some established ones out there that are better but my priorities i wanted it to be vertically compact which i got the most, you know, you obviously can't get more compact than too high per level here. I wanted it to be, oh, there is some, oh, hmm, looks like I'm getting quite a bit, 14, hmm, this might be too much of a, too much loss here, let me see, one here, I'll have to, I'll have to do a full plant and see how much, falls. I'm okay with a little bit of loss. Worst case scenario, I just don't plant this row, but I guess that would kind of defeat the point of some of it too. But anyways, I'll have to get it all loaded up and really see. Maybe I'll let you guys know next time how it's working out. Um, but yeah, the priorities for this, I think I met. I wanted it to be fairly compact, which this is. I wanted it to be easy to plant, which that's probably my favorite thing is how how, you, how easy it is to plant. You don't actually have to walk on the soil stand. You can plant a ton of it. Um, yeah, push the button and harvest it all. And that's going to do it, guys. And yeah, like I said, I'll be picking a winner for the contest tomorrow night. And I'm really I'm really interested in seeing what the person wants to do because I have no idea what to expect. Like I just said, the, you know, the default may be just, hey, let's build something in this world and you know, we'll hang out here. But, you know, what I'm really looking for is if, if you're good at something or if you've built something really cool in your world that you think we might be able to build, you know, over the course of one episode, maybe we could build it here. You know, let's chat. Let's see what you want to do. <sighs> I gotta fix this now. Alright guys, talk to you later.